Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where we believe in Bitcoin and that it's time for Plan B. Short TA video on this amazing, beautiful Friday with the blue sky and a blue pool behind me. Five really cool charts. Talk short about them because I don't want to take too much of your beautiful, precious time on this amazing Friday. Let's quickly jump into the first chart. When you're running into dead ends, and everywhere you turn. Chart, guys yes like you used the four hour chart on uh, binance this time yes we can see i'm working on the orox platform and let's see did we take that long a long flag indicated by the bam bam indicator i told you yesterday we need to wait before we close the candle above the yellow stepping line the yellow stepping line was going down we did close a little bit above it, but look here in the bottom, yellow and blue. That is a no-go. We need green hills, the green hills where the bulls can run around and play. The Bam Bam did cross, but also the Bam Bam midline, the gray one, was very flat. It was not pointing upwards. So we are still waiting for a beautiful up, uh, move, upwards moving stepping line, a closing candle above that, then we need to see this beautiful green hills over here. We need to see the green line on the top. And we see, need to see the Bam Bam crossing that white line to the top. That is when we take the four hour um, long, guys. So that's how the Bam Bam works. Quickly jump into the next chart, this one over here. And um, this chart shows you that we again closed a daily candle, a daily candle, every candle is a day, above the 200 moving average. And that is that red line. So this red line, the 200 moving average, like you can see over here, um, the short one is the green one, that's the 50 the moving average, but the red line, we closed a daily candle above it. And why is that so important? Um, if we go back in history, like I need to scroll out a little bit, you can see that the 200 day moving average always has been a line that we find support on in the history. You can see we always, you know, close above it. When we are in a bull market in the bear uh, run bear bearish market uh, you can see that we act down below that line and yes these crosses are the golden crosses and the death crosses and yes we had a death cross but these ones are lagging behind and yes we will see uh, very soon i think a golden cross on this daily chart but again that one is i think lagging behind because this is the moving average if we need to look very closely to the exponential moving average that is this one then we can see that that golden cross already happened and that yes at that point the price went up so very cool chart to see um, very positive for me that we are closing above the 200 how about this one over here ah you see these beautiful fibonacci levels you see we all fell we fell down below that support level of 2.618 but now we are above it again. So this level is a very important level. We need to stay above it, bounce of it, and then again try to reach that purple line. That is how I would love to see Bitcoin move. I would love to see Bitcoin move, go up like this, come down like this, go up like this, come down like this, and then break that purple line. Not to make it kind of time, just drawing it like free-handed. But that is how I would love to see Bitcoin move next okay do we have more charts yes we have more charts that is first commercial time bam if you want to trade all this please use the links down below the video we have this video down below the video in the comments uh, you will see the links to Phoenix. we get a i think now even a higher bonus i think it's now 1600 or even three thousand dollar bonus at the moment Phoenix. don't um, uh, pin me when i'm wrong prime xbt you get a 50 percent bonus buy a max of almost four thousand dollar bonus at the moment uh, binance also a good exchange no bonus over there uh, but still if you want to sign up use the link 
you will find a sign up link to Oryx down here as well uh, and many other things the crypto coin t-shirts all the t-shirts that you are wearing the cool stuff and you will find the discord channel or the debit card if you want to use that one you get 50 dollars back so just look down below the view for the links that was my commercial time next chart bam we jump into this one this is the weekly chart i already created this weekly chart in july you can look at my twitter it's already there since july and i told you guys if we would copy 2013 that is the blue a line uh, then it would go like that and at the moment since july over here the 5th of july we are kind of copying that line still uh, still on track when it comes to you know this candle over there so the next candle should be a uh, less volatile candle the week of 13th of september still around the same level maybe a little bit lower to 44 and then we could even have another candle dropping all the way to 37 yes if we exactly copy that chart we we won't perfect perfectly be copying that chart uh, <clears throat> but it is possible and then still at the end we could all the way all the way to 400,000 US dollar if we copy 2013 but if we just go to the top of the logarithmic growth curve the top white line uh, that is now around 150,000 US dollar really cool another chart guys bam yes charting day look um i told you how bitcoin moved from september till december the last couple of times here from september till december top we went times 10 here from september till december top we went times five here from september till december top if we even go only times 2.5 we would still be be above 125,000 us dollar so this chart still on track we have still a red nvt which is very positive guys okay did you see this very beautiful yes we are still above the <coughs> the 200 um moving average on the monthly as well and we are fighting that midline and when we fight that and break that that is the moment i think we will see an explosive growth okay do we have more charts yes we have more charts did you have so many charts today and bam here is the first chart i think this one is very important to see and uh, this is the Puel multiple putting my fist on the place where it should be uh, the Puel multiple is important why is it important because um Every time with the Puel multiple, we get in these um, pinkish box. We are topping out in the market. We are topping out in the market. We need to come into this pinkish box to have a top out of the market. The Puel multiple is calculated by dividing the daily issuance of value of Bitcoins in US dollar uh, by 365 day moving average of the daily issue. If you want to know more about it, Google Puel multiple or go to Glassnode. You can get a free account over there and read all about it but this indicator has been a very valuable indicator like you can see on this chart i need to do it like this so <clears throat> um this line over here that we are now going to draw is kind of in a downward trend so the tops are hitting like this so the expectation for me in bitcoin is that if we go up that we you know reach that line over there so we would not go um all the way to the top of that pinkish box but we would come to this area over here and that would be between five and six so yes when we hit that beginning of the pinkish box that is the moment when i think um, of exchanging my uh, trading portfolio into stable coins to buy back in the dip again yes not a chart do we have another chart bam we have another chart didi so many charts today man you have a happy chart day and let's put my face down here that is not in the way yes this is the bitcoin realized hodl ratio guys uh, again difficult word that's why i pasted here what it is the the hodl ratio is a market indicator that uses the ratio of realized cap hodl waves in particular the hodl ratio takes the between the one week and the one to two years um, realized cap hodl so to keep it very simple when we reach this pink box again beautiful pink again we are overheated the market is overheated too many short-term buyers are buying and that is when we know where we top out the ratio between short-term hodlers and long-term hodlers becomes overheated and when it becomes overheated it is the moment to sell like you can see here the top was exactly there here two times this one the first time was what is a little bit overheated and then we went into the bit but pink box that was the real top of that market and here again 2017 what we saw the same 
and this level here now look here is almost the same in 2013 as the level that we are seeing now so yes we could see that second huge peak into this pinkish box and that is the moment again that you see um, that you're overheated a hodl ratio we are talking about that done and then you might ask yourself a hodl hodl who's hodling okay bam there's a lot of people <laughs> hodling at the moment um, and this is a beautiful graph that shows you a little bit who is hodling at the moment who is hodling bitcoin at the moment that's what i need to say like you can see over here um the grayscale bitcoin trust hodls 650,000 bitcoins the 3 iq coin share bitcoin etf hodls 18,000 bitcoins and you can see all of these here holding a lot of bitcoins so that means etf like hodling is around 860,000 bitcoins if we look at private companies that's about 340,000 bitcoins that are being held off, like block one Mount Gox still hold us, not long I think anymore, and um, I think they need to pay back to the people, the Tezos Foundation, 24,000, here, this is beautiful to see, private companies, then we have governments over here, governments, the government of Bulgaria hold us 213,000 bitcoins, if bitcoin goes up to 100k, I think the Bulgarian government will be one of the richest one of the world, El Salvador is now holding 550 bitcoins, and yes, it's a legal temple over there, you Ukraine is now holding 46,000 bitcoins. These are countries holding bitcoins, having bitcoins as a treasury. Guys, and then we have public account companies like MicroStrategy holding 109,000 bitcoins, Tesla 40,000 bitcoins. So all in total, these treasury holdings are 1.6 million bitcoins, which is 7.9% of the supply. That is who is holding the Bitcoins for the long term. Bam! And that is why I believe that more and more of these huge companies and governments are going to add Bitcoins to their treasury, which means they will be holding for long term and treating it as the gold of the 21st century. Which means you need to step onto this rocket now because it's going to go higher and higher and higher as we only have 21 million Bitcoins. And yes, we can't create more. And yes, the demand will grow tremendously in the next couple of years again and again and again. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this short update video. Um, if you did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the Bam Bam Indicator? What do you think about the HODL ratio and all that other stuff? Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you tomorrow again in a beautiful Saturday morning video and maybe even a Dutch AMA. Yes, my voice is back. I'm not coughing anymore i am getting 100 percent level of health <laughs> thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow again bam